Let's speak to our Europe editor, uh, Catherine Nicholson, in Brussels. Hello to you, Catherine. Uh, what's the latest coming out of the summit? Well, we had a very interesting press conference a little bit earlier on today about the next step in efforts to boost the production of COVID vaccines globally. Uh, this is the latest on the World Health Organization's global mRNA vaccine technology transfer hub, uh, which is going to be based uh, in South Africa. Now, this has been in the making since uh, last year. And today uh, they presented the six countries that will be the first to benefit from this technology transfer to produce mRNA mRNA vaccines themselves. They are South Africa, of course, also uh, Egypt, uh, Kenya, Nigeria, Senegal and Tunisia, the leaders of those countries all speaking about this. Now, this means that these states will get help in developing uh, their production capacity, but also skills, uh, training, that sort of thing. Um, they underlined that currently just 1% of the vaccines that are administered in Africa were actually produced on the African continent. And they say they have a lot more capacity, a lot more know-how, uh, lots of scientists and, 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 and uh, experts at universities who could be capable of boosting that figure. Uh, so the leaders who were presented today hailed this step forward. Um, South Africa's president, Cyril Ramaphosa, however, did uh, take the opportunity to ask for something that he has been pushing for for quite a long time. He wants the European Union to say yes to uh, waiving patents, waiving intellectual property rights on these COVID vaccines. He says that this would make it so much easier for vaccines to be produced locally in the places where they need at a lower cost. And he says that this would truly empower Africa and Africa's scientists. Um, I think we have a clip of him. Let's take a listen. It's not acceptable that Africa is consistently at the back of the queue in relation to access to medicines. While we appreciate the donations, they are never a sustainable way <clears throat> or mechanism to build resilience. Yeah, and Catherine, a major sticking point, though, has been these intellectual property rights. So are Europe's leaders willing to waive these rights? Well, it was interesting. Cyril Ramaphosa was standing right next to Ursula von der Leyen uh, when he said this. He acknowledged that it's a bit of a tricky topic to tackle. Uh, and she did not say a direct no, but essentially it was a no. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen, president of the European Commission, of course, uh, stressing that the EU has always backed this initiative, this technology transfer initiative led by the World Health Organization. But she said that uh, the focus is the technology transfer. She said that, uh, you know, they want to limit the profitability of vaccines uh, for uh, for others, of course. Uh, she said that, you know, it's not right that people should be making huge sums of money out of these vaccines. But she said that protecting intellectual property is about protecting um, a precious good that these producers have. France's President Macron went even more further. He was more explicit. He said, you know, France, uh, no French pharma company is involved in making any of these vaccines. They don't hold any intellectual property in France. Uh, but he agrees with Ursula von der Leyen. He said that protecting intellectual property is about uh, not stifling innovation. Of course, companies do invest huge sums of money in developing these vaccines. And he uh, is sort of implying that, you know, if uh, the producers think that their intellectual property is going to be cracked open for the entire world after that, then companies might think, well, it's not worth the investment. That's long been the argument from the European side. I think Cyril Ramaphosa was pretty clear that he's not going to be giving up on this issue. He said uh, when the waiver happens. So he thinks uh, it could still happen in the future. Uh, and just to underline that the European leaders did say that they still have a key target of 60% of vaccines that are administered in Africa being produced on the African continent, this by the year 2040. All right. Thank you very much, Catherine. Catherine Nicholson, French 24's Europe editor, speaking to us from Brussels.